up guys, Joe Snow right here. Welcome to iDevice Central channel. Today I have a very short video for you in which I'm going to release an updated version of Liby Mobile device for OS X formerly and now it's called Mac OS. But basically it's just the iDevice restore part that you require in order to restore IPSWs like this one for 9.2.1, 9.3, 9.4, whatever you want or iOS 10, which is very important because if you go here on this website of Liby Mobile Device official website, you have right here a statement saying that, yep, Liby Mobile Device works with iOS 10, which means that you are able to restore the uh, beta firmware on a Mac using the Liby Mobile Device, which is in fact very good. Utilizing this application is very simple. You just need to go to terminal. If you don't have terminal right here, you go to Launchpad and in here in the search box, you write terminal and you get the terminal application and it will start. Then when it starts, you need to simply make it bigger in case you don't see. Okay. And you need to simply drag and drop, then simply write the comments. For example, if I don't write any comment, it will post the information about it. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I released a uh, another version for both Linux and Mac OS. This one is only for Mac OS and it's um, it's updated, but not very much, not very thing, anything uh, significant on this update, but it is updated. And in fact, they also updated the uh, repository on a website two days ago for iDevice installer and Liby mobile device five days ago, which is in fact important because the Liby mobile device itself contains packs used by iDevice restore when you compile it, and this is why it gets updated. They are trying to fix any bugs that might appear. And this version, this particular version, has the um, dash W right here, which is downgrade. That helps you downgrade with a custom firmware. So custom firmwares are really took seriously, as here as well, if you have an exploit. So um, yeah, this is basically how the application works. If you want to call, for example, iDevice Restore, you need to call, uh, for example, if you want to call the unique device ID, you call you, you write the unique device ID wherever, and then you call the uh, file, for example, E for Eris, and the file, and it will start the process. But in this case, the unique device ID, it's not real and I don't have any device connected, so it will give me the error, but in fact the application works exactly as a normal application. It says unable to discover the device mode, please make sure the device is attached. Of course it's not, because this unique device ID is just randomly picked here. So just to test the application, so you can download it from the uh, download section down below, but if you don't want to download software created by me or if you, if you, I don't know, if you don't trust me or something like this, you can go ahead on Liby Mobile Device right here, uh, click on iDevice Restore and take all the packages, including the Liby Mobile Device, clone and download, and you can make it, you can compile it yourself using those commands right here. Make sure you have those uh, packets already um, created and make sure you have this software, USB Max make, auto header, auto make, auto config, uh, live tool, pkg configuration and gcc. And the installation is simple, in the, in the uh, terminal you write dot slash autogen.sh, which is basically this file right here, and it will run. After that you need to make it and sudo make install, and you got your executable file. Here you can check the uh, the logs on everything they update. It's libymobiledevice.org, their website, and basically here you have a, a news section, which is basically a change log in which they announce new features. For example, the fact that in 2015 it worked with iOS 9, and now it works with um, iOS 10 with no problem. So you can also connect your iDevice running iOS 10 and it will work, it will get discovered on Linux or Mac. This version, as I said, is particularly for Mac, for OS 6, but the uh, Linux and Windows versions will come. Thanks for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated for future videos, and if you appreciate this video, give it a thumb up, tell me in the comment section down below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for the next video. Until the next time, I'm Joe Snow, you are on iDevice Central channel, peace out!